Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here at DocSports.com and welcome to the update for Monday, December 16th, 2019. Free pick in tonight's Monday Night Football coming up in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, it's a real cool way to do it. You click on the link below this video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. Use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster uh, for that matter. It's as simple as that. And it comes with the Doc Sports guarantee, even though it's a free $60 account. Go check it out. Get started by clicking on the link below the video. Coming off a big Sunday in football, uh, we had another nice day on the gridiron. Four and one yesterday with our premium picks, including our top play winner on the Houston Texans. Our second biggest play was the Dallas Cowboys. And uh, two and oh this weekend here on the free pick report. So a nice six and one, 86% overall NFL week and uh, we are done as far as premium picks are concerned uh, for the week but we do have Monday Night Football the pick coming up in just a moment between the Colts and the Saints. Here's what's going on for us. Again, don't forget, college football bowls begin this week. They start this coming Friday. We will be in action over the last 10 years. Basically about 14 or 15 bowl plays per bowl season is what I've averaged for a decade now. So I'm sure we'll be right around there again, anywhere from 12 to 16 bowl plays as I've been looking at the card handicapping. And that's about where we're going to end up right in the middle there, probably 14 or 15 plays once again in the college football bowls. We've had an 80% bowl season right run so don't miss out the bowl games start this week on friday of course by nfl we've already started jumping into next week's lines as you know we always do and uh, we're going to be uh, releasing those plays to everybody at docsports.com this coming thursday 6 p.m eastern 3 p.m pacific uh, more information on that coming up later in the week and of course listen if you're new to these videos my big long video of the week is on tuesdays where we recap all of the nfl including sunday night and monday night football we do it from a betting perspective. Uh, we will do that again on tomorrow's video. It'll be out there by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific on Tuesday morning. But anyway, here's what's going on for Monday. We come off the big Sunday in the NFL. We are now 38 and 21, 64% against the spread and closing in on $5,000 a profit for $100 per unit betters over the last eight weeks in football. You don't want to miss out on this week's card. You don't want to miss out on the bowls. Go check it out over at DocSports.com. On Monday, I'm back in action in the NBA. We passed yesterday. We're on a 63% NBA run. Back in action in the NHL. We passed yesterday. We've had a great season uh, thus far in the NHL. And we're going to look to rebound after a rough weekend in college basketball. We do have one college basketball play for Monday. Now, the college basketball plays are posted every day at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. And as far as the NBA and H NHL, uh, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific is the release times. Again, all my plays is exclusive over at DocSports.com. All right, let's get to the free pick after a crazy Sunday. Again, we end up 6-1 and one with free and premium plays combined, but I'm telling you what, if you had the Redskins, if you had uh, the under in the clash uh, between the uh, San Francisco 49ers and the Atlanta Falcons, man, I feel for you. Those were two of the worst losses that I've seen anybody have to take. We stayed away from both of those. We actually had the Falcons in one of those games, and we did didn't have the total, I mean, excuse me, we did have the side in the other game I mentioned, but boy, a couple of really bad beats. My heart goes out to those who lost in games they should have won. But anyway, we'll look to continue the red hot run in football. Let's go to the free pick, and that is the matchup between the Colts and the Saints. And right now, the betting report shows the Saints getting the money and the tickets, over 60% of the tickets, which means basically the public on New Orleans, as is the overall money right now, about 60, 65% on the New Orleans Saints. But we like the the other side here for Monday Night Football. We're recommending to play on the Colts plus about nine and a half. You a couple of tens out there, but for the most part, nine and a half. And uh, here's the thing, man. When I look at what the Colts have done, you know they've lost a few games of late, five in the last six, but they've had four games now that have basically been decided by one possession. And also, you know, a little bit banged up. They might get uh, their full lineup back tonight as far as the receiving core. You might get T.Y. back on the field for this particular game. And if that happens, obviously it helps out in both the passing game and the running game. They're not so quite so conservative. They don't have to be. And Jacoby Brissett, for the most part, he hasn't made costly mistakes. There's been a couple of games of late that he's played in where he has made some rough mistakes but overall for the season he's done pretty well especially when he has T.Y. Hilton on the field. He could be on the field tonight but we like the Colts 
uh, at this price, this plus nine and a half, whether he plays or not. Uh, what we don't like about the Saints is all the injuries. They're beginning to accrue on the defensive side of the football. Two or three more guys lost in the last couple of weeks. Uh, and again, it's a situation where we went against San Francisco yesterday. They were coming off that 48-46 game against New Orleans. Well, New Orleans took as many bumps and bruises in that one. It was as intense for the Saints as it was the Niners, but they did not pick up the win. And uh, they're not in as tough of a spot as the Niners were yesterday. Uh, but again, it isn't the easiest, and they're laying a lot of points. So we think the Colts are going to be able to catch or at least hang that number in this particular game against New Orleans. Again, you can find a couple of 10s out there, so shop. And uh, again, plenty of 9.5s too. So Indianapolis plus the points is the way we're going to go with our free pick for Monday. And don't forget, we will be back here Tuesday morning, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. I will have another free pick for Tuesday. I'll have my NFL uh, recap from a betting perspective. All that good stuff on Tuesday's video. Again, it is the Colts plus the points, our recommended play for Monday Night Football. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column right back here Tuesday morning.